What's going on everyone? So it's the night before a show and I have two guitars that I need to restring that are quite similar. And I also have two very similar sets of strings. So I decided to document this. We're going to do a bit of a comparison between two sets of Elixir strings. One being the 8020 bronze, the other being the phosphor bronze. So the 8020 is said to be more of a bright tone while the phosphor bronze they say is more rich and full. That being said, uh, I have a Dreadnought Taylor 200 series, the 210E that you see here, and I also have a Grand Auditorium 200 series, the 214CE, that is off the screen right now. Both awesome guitars, I use both of them in the live setting, so we're going to put these two very similar sets of strings on two fairly similar guitars, albeit a different body shape, but we're gonna see what happens. After we restrain, we're going to go ahead up to the studio and record a take of them brand new. And then once they're worn in a bit after a couple of shows and practice sessions, we will do another recording and see how they wear. We're gonna put the Phosphor Bronze, the rich and full sound on the Dreadnought because I feel like the Dreadnought naturally has more of a rich and full sound about it. So that's what's going on here. And then we will put the 8020s on the 214 CE right after. Let's get right into it. So here we are the next morning and we're giving this a test run. So this is the Taylor 210E and this has the Elixir NanoWeb 11 through 52 gauge phosphor bronze set of strings on it. These are said to be rich and full, which I think kind of lends itself to the Dreadnought body, which also kind of naturally in my opinion, has a warmer, richer sound to it than the Grand Auditorium body style that I put the 8020s on. So we're going to go ahead and test the Phosphor Bronze on the Dreadnought right now with a simple G to C chord progression with a hammer-on and pull-off line going on on the high E string to kind of showcase the brightness of each guitar. We'll start off playing it a little softer and slower, and as we go on, we'll get a little more aggressive kind of give you a good view of the whole spectrum of the guitar. We're playing into an MXL 990 condenser microphone, which is about a foot away from the guitar, placed in between the bridge and the sound hole, kind of angled towards the sound hole a bit. So that's the Taylor 210 with the Elixir Phosphor Bronze strings on it. Let's go ahead and move on to the 214 CE. Right away, just in tuning it, you can hear the contrast between the two different guitars with the two different sets of strings on it. These are definitely brighter. All right, here's that same G to C progression with that little hammer on run on the high E string. Let's give it a test.
So that's what these two guitars sound like with a brand new set of Elixir strings on them. The Phosphor Bronze on the 210 Dreadnought and the 8020 Bronze on the 214 Grand Auditorium. Right now, we can definitely tell right off the bat that the 214 with the 8020 Bronze is way brighter. The 210 naturally has a more warm tone to it, in my opinion, and I think it is even more exaggerated with the Phosphor Bronze strings on it. So I'm going to put some time in on these strings, going to be practicing for a lot of live shows that I have coming up, so we'll wear these in a bit and see what happens in round two of this video. So be sure to subscribe so you don't miss that. You can also find me at your favorite form of social media, at Brad Abbott Music and at bradabbottmusic.com. Hope to see you there. And we'll see you soon.